Argentina as a whole haven't produced their best yet at this World Cup. There's a whiff of Maradona 86 about the lineup in truth, with their number 10 producing moments of magic to get them out of sticky situations against first Bosnia Herzegovina and then Iran. Alejandro Sabella has fielded some criticism for his decision to start the tournament with a 5 3 2 formation, but since switching to the 4 3 3, they do look a lot more solid. Sergio Romero on goal has confounded the critics by making some great saves at some key times for the Argentines, but you do feel that if they're going to have any success further on in this tournament, Messi's going to need to be at his brilliant best. Buoyed by winning their first World Cup match since 1998, Stephen Keshi's Nigeria go into this match knowing that if they do beat Argentina, they're going to top the group. That's going to be easier said than done. Although they impressed in their second group match against Bosnia-Herzegovina, they did struggle to break down Iran in the first game. But the introduction from the outset of Peter Rudd and Wingy certainly gave them something different going forward. The powerful Emmanuel Emenike has probably been their best player so far to date. Although with goalkeeper Vincent Enyama in the form of his life at this tournament, they've always got a chance of keeping a clean sheet. That golden generation of Sunday Elise, JJ Okocha and others is long gone, but this perhaps more modest group of players is very, very close to emulating their World Cup achievements. And that's getting to the second round.